Yeah, I'll come look at this. The fashion community is gonna hate me for this one. This is Michelle Lamy, and I fell into a deep dark rabbit hole last night finding out more about her. Michelle was born in the 40s. She is around 80 years old. She's worked as an attorney, a clothing designer, a performer, a producer. She was born in France, but has lived in many places, including New York and Los Angeles. And she's the wife of fashion designer Rick Owens, who is also known as the Lord of Darkness in the fashion community. Michelle actually discovered Rick Owens, and a lot of people credit her for his career. One time, Michelle wore his head as a purse. I don't work in the fashion industry, so there's a lot of things that I probably don't understand, but Michelle is very highly respected among her peers. And many celebrities Celebrities like the ones pictured here. Usher, Kim Kardashian, ASAP Rocky, and Kanye West. She has a very distinct style. Every morning she draws a black line on her forehead and she says she doesn't really have an explanation for it. She also stains her fingers black. It has been reported online that Michelle got her inspiration from the Emma Zich women who also used to paint on their face. She's also known for having gold-plated teeth. But the rabbit hole that I fell into last night has people convinced that Michelle is a high priestess or witch of some sorts in the Hollywood scene. Now, I'm not saying she is or she isn't and I simply cannot get into all of the details. The information is out there if you want to look into it, but there's so much mystery surrounding this woman. Like I said, she is highly respected in the fashion and art industries. A lot of people really love her work, and a lot of other people are convinced that she controls a lot of what is going on in Hollywood and that there's something much more sinister. Well, if you ask me, I will tell you that this is by far the most easiest um, decision anyone could ever make. The reason is all you have to use it is your eyes that's the truth what do you see do you see a normal person no and with her status in in in, in the industry and with the people she is allowed to oversee she's like the bishop or the archbishop of the hollywood industry like she she oversees everything and if this woman says you are not going anywhere in the industry bro you, you are not going anywhere that's how powerful she is so guys what i'm going to tell you is use your eyes i'm pretty sure the evidence is everywhere open your eyes america open your eyes yeah come look at this <laughs> I think is happening here is fairly simple these guys are replacing the old with the new and when i mean the new the twisted new normal that they've always wanted and the funniest part about this is that these guys are the minority like major minority and one thing you should know about government is that government always goes for the majority they don't really go for the minority and the reason why they go for the majority is because of the one vote. Now, ask yourself, when a politician is going the other way around, that means something else is there that is actually bigger than votes. Think about it. These guys are very, very small. Very, very, very small. But yet, the, the elites keep doing things for them just to tell you that something else is, is there that they're not telling us. Follow the money, guys. It's the money. It's the money. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Yeah, come look at this. Abortion. Make them stop. Talking about abortion makes many people profoundly uncomfortable. At dinner parties, in polite conversation with friends and family, and too often in church. Despite many people's profound discomfort with abortion, Images, messaging, and moralizing about abortion are ubiquitous in our culture. Talking fetuses, aggressive bumper stickers, and saccharine billboards quoting scripture and invoking God's wrath. Pave our streets and plaster our highways. Politicians stump on the issue, and state legislatures spent the last 50 years working to control, regulate, and ultimately overturn Roe v. Wade. Their success was our failure. In the abortion imaginary, all people of faith are against abortion. 
This imaginary has colonized our minds, traumatizing many people with its toxic theology and shaping a culture of stigma and shame that has silenced millions of women and people who have had abortions, erasing their voices, their stories, and their witness from the public sphere. As a child of God, I can certainly appreciate the lyrical beauty of this text, as well as the descriptions in Jeremiah and Job of their certain knowledge that God was with them in the womb. I too feel that I am known by God in these ways. As a woman who has borne two children, I can affirm that I felt something sacred happening in my gestating body during those pregnancies. I can also attest that I felt God's presence with me as I made the decision to end two pregnancies. And I felt no guilt, no shame, no sin. While the liminal space of my womb and all fertile wombs represents the possibility of creating new life, if pregnancy and gestation are to remain holy mysteries, they require cooperation. A forced pregnancy or birth is not holy. I cannot fathom a God who would imagine otherwise. One thing a lot of you will notice is that she's not talking based on the scriptures, she's talking based on feelings. I feel. This is the reason why the LGBTQ community will tell you to speak your truth. It shouldn't be your truth, it should be the truth. There is a difference. Your truth is the one you made up, that is the one you identify as, while the truth is the hard pill to swallow, which is the truth that you're either a man or a woman. This is the reason why I tell people to speak the truth, not speak your truth. Also, you will notice that she said when she decided to end her own pregnancy, she felt God was with her and she said she felt no sin. One thing you need to know is that in a world that encourages sin like Sodom and Gomorrah, I don't think those people felt bad when they were actually sinning. No, they don't because of everywhere they go, it is accepted. That is the reason why you will never feel bad. The moment it is not accepted, of course, you will start feeling, you will start feeling the guilt. So yes, sinning is still sin, no matter how good. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Come look at this. I'm one of the youngest and first drag queen slash kids. And I've heard, I've heard that you've gotten messages from young adults who look up to you for being who you are. What are some of the notes you've gotten? Some of the notes I've gotten are like that.
If you don't know who that is, they call him Desmond the Amazing. And to be honest, he's just a boy. He's just a young boy that the parents allowed to be sucked into this community, right? And just like the companies get ESG scores uh, and they get paid via that ESG score, I'm pretty sure there's something like that for the parents, to be honest, because there's no way you would allow your, your child to, to do all these things. And he's getting messages from people who would add that he really, is this what he ought to be doing at this age? Because of this age, we never come back, guys. This stage never comes back. And they are taking it away from him so that he can pursue a career as a drag queen. A child, for that matter. You are falling. Ah, we've overlooked all these things. Life is coming to bite us. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Hey, y'all, come look at this. If you guys remember, I um, made a post about what they are actually spraying in the air, right? Those planes, right? Those of you who actually watched those videos, I think those things are the ones that are actually causing what we actually are seeing in this, uh, in this video. Anyone from Asheville here, please let us know the situation um, down, down there. If you guys know anyone who lives in Asheville, can you please ask them how? they are because these days it is crazy we need to start asking the right questions we need to stop being distracted we need to start asking the right question because of the the people who actually did this they know they know who they are they know and we are the ones only suffering for it open your eyes america open your eyes yeah come look at this Yo, your style is despicable oh, thank you. Like, can you tell me what you were real quick? What? Tell me what you were. Yeah. Uh, Rick Owen. From top to bottom? Um, Balenciaga. Balenciaga and Rick Owens? Yeah. Speak a little louder, just a little louder. Balenciaga and Rick Owens. Alright, appreciate you, man. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Did you guys hear what I'm hearing? He's hearing Balenciaga. Well, let's talk about Rick Owens. You guys know who Rico S is? Well, remember that woman that actually showed you with the black hands, black uh, stripe on her head, and she actually looks kind of, you know, suspicious one way or another, and all the other celebrities are flocking around her? Yeah, that is Rick Owen's wife. And they are both the fashion moguls in the whole fashion industry in this world. Very big people. And he, this person is actually wearing their collection, one of their collection. Balenciaga again. Remember the stuff that actually went down with Balenciaga? It looks like a lot of people have actually forgotten and, you know, and have, they've moved on from there. I told you that these guys will forget. I told you. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Hey, y'all, come look at this. The worst part is, these are the same people that tell us, Oh, we just want a peaceful society where everyone is accepted. Look at how they are screaming at this man. At first, it all starts like this. That's how communism and socialism actually start. They tell you all nine things first. And before you know it, Venezuela. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Hey y'all, come look at this! <laughs> what you guys have just witnessed is the craziness of our society today. And I'm pretty sure this is from the same people who say we just want to live in peace with you guys. This is their own version of peace.
My question is, what do you gain from bringing yourself down to this level? Like, what do you gain from it? This time will then go down in history as the period in which the invader was actively invited in by a corrupt elite. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Yeah, come look at this. Was he out hip hopping the black comedians? Play the joke, Taylor. You're saying you're a bunch of criminals, drug addicts, and pedophiles. That is not the whole city. That is a very small, specific section of the city. It's called Diddy's House. That is. Listen, hey, did Diddy go to jail? What's the over under? Someone asked Shohei Otani. I know he got the. Well, those Japanese love gambling, bro. Or I believe they call it driving. But whatever, man. <laughs> Just everybody this is the shot. only reason I think he might be guilty. <laughs> Every celebrity in LA has had their home robbed except Diddy. And I thought about it, it's like, bro, robbing Diddy is terrifying. Because what if he's there? <laughs> you break down the door, he's butt naked on the couch. Meek Mill sitting on his lap, just, just petting him like a Maltese cat. Just, Meek Mill crying. Oh no, wait a minute! I thought you was finished. <laughs> it was like, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> you try to run out. You run out. The door is locked. You turn around. All of a sudden, you hear. <laughs> As you all already know, a lot of people have been trying to warn us about Diddy's house, but we all saw it as a joke, so we laughed. And we laughed some more and shared the laughter and then forget about it like it's just a joke. You know why the joke is actually funny? A joke is actually funny because of it has truth in it. But a lot of us just forget about the truth part and just focus on the laughter and forget about it. Come on, man. Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes, America. Open your eyes. Yeah, come look at this. We just had a child and he started calling my baby ugly. That is not right. My baby's only one years old. He's handsome. And he says that because the child does not look like his family lineage, that, that my baby is ugly. Uh, I feel that I have received certain opportunities and gained uh, a lot through my, my looks, I, I, I have to say. And I wanted my child to um, be raised in a similar fashion. Uh, you taking 10 minutes to say you wanted to have a baby that you thought was pretty. I, I, I offer into evidence a, a photo here that I found. Uh, and please tell me, Your Honor, if that looks like the same person to you. Actually, she looks a little different, but the shape of her face, the shape of her eyes, her eyebrows, and your her Honor, nose is different. I did not get those procedures to become this different person. I got those procedures so that I wouldn't be reminded of what had happened in my past. Then why'd you say that you're the new Tanya now and the old Tanya's dead and forget about her? I mean, because the old the Tanya ugliness. died when her but parents died. But you didn't died. know the old Tanya anyway, right? I didn't. Why are you suing? Because I said I had an ugly baby. There you go. Wasting my time. Is, is, is a picture of the baby in the evidence? Yes, it is. There he is right there. So you're angry because this baby doesn't look the way you envisioned in your mind. This is insanity. You should be ashamed of yourself for even coming in here with this nonsense. So this guy right here called his son ugly because the son doesn't actually look like him. First of all, why would you marry someone who doesn't really look like you if you want a baby that 100% looks like you? If you guys know what I'm saying. I'm trying to choose my words carefully so that I don't appear... You all know the word, right? So, um, if he actually wants somebody that looks exactly like he does, because he said he has gotten a lot for his looks, and he actually wants somebody that looks exactly like him, then I think he should have gone for somebody who 100% looks like him so that he can actually get what he wants. But calling the baby ugly just because of... Come on, man! No, that it 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 makes no sense, man. It makes it 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 is it is stupid. It is crazy, crazy. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs>